The DARPA Triage Challenge tests what's possible. Now comes the harder part, making it a reality. The mission is to build not just tools, but trustworthy partners for medics. AI that is safe, reliable, and practical in the toughest conditions. The real impact begins when these tools move from prototypes to real-world use. Whether in a medic's hands at the point of injury or in an emergency room doctor's hands during a mass casualty surge. From battlefield medicine to disaster zones, rural clinics to crowded city and urban medical centers, the potential is global. There's so much nuance in triage. Just throwing data into a model doesn't cut it. We've been working closely with medical professionals to make sure this technology translates directly to real world operations. There's a big gap between you can kind of set something up in a lab and, you know, model kind of what it should be like and make models based on that and it doesn't translate well to the real world. And so being able to have that real data to begin with makes us a lot more confident that we could, you know, use some of this stuff in the real world because we know that the types of errors and the types of noise and the types of problems that we see in the data are going to be reflective of the real types of errors and noise and problems that you're going to get if you're at an active trauma center, right? All those types of things that happen in the real world that you can't really capture in a lab. The battlefield is as far from a controlled test as you can get and disaster zones or crowded ERs are no less chaotic. We have to build technology that functions in real-world conditions. Smoke, dust, noise, difficult terrain, so responders can rely on it in actual emergencies. In regards to the algorithms, in regards to the detection of injury patterns, this is uh, by far one of the best opportunities to identify something like this and in fact even commercialize it. By uniting researchers across disciplines, the DARPA Triage Challenge ensures these breakthroughs don't just stay in the lab, they become systems that medics can trust in the field. The goal is to develop tools that hospitals and military medics can actually use today, not just prototypes that are sitting on a shelf. This isn't just an exercise, it's a launch pad for tools that will actually help save lives.